Hello world and hello people of Canada. It's a new day, it's a new daily challenge. Today is Saturday, which is nice, the weekend's here. Now oh, let's see what we have here. Mm, I'm not too sure yet. But now I would say Estonia, almost certainly. I was thinking uh, something like Poland or Lithuania or something, but yeah, it looks like we will be in Estonia now. Let's see. Ranna Palla Keppa. Let's see if we can find any of those. Those are probably tiny places. Ranna Keppa Palla. Let's give it a quick look here. Ranna Kappapalla. Okay, okay, I don't see. I don't see any of those. Um, Ah, that's sad. Come on. One of them. No. No. One minute left, and I don't see any of those. No. Ah. Could even zoom in more, but huh? Okay. I'll just wait. Maybe here we see some other things. No. Does this say the street? No, it's just telling us that there's also a bike path. Okay, so this doesn't look too promising. I will go. I was thinking here down in the south, but yeah, I'd say it's in the south. Let's say around here. Just gonna click somewhere and uh, <coughs> let's see. Because time's running out, that's unfortunate. And okay, it was actually here. Pala, where is it? I saw it just a second ago. Pala here. And the rest. Oh no, Palu, right? That was also a thing. And Kappa. No, no, I don't think so. Whatever. Next round. Not too bad, but uh, not a perfect score. We're arriving on the left. Okay, that's very good. That is very, very good. Okay, so Kuala Lumpur is here. Now, the E8 is here, and Kuala Lumpur is to our south. So we are on this stretch of road. Um, now, there's no kilometers or something, but there's a bridge here. Do you think we can find a bridge? It's a weird road. How? Probably further away. Well, that's not it. Um, well, it could also be, you know, somewhere up there. So I'll just keep going for now. This might not even be the E8 yet. It might be telling us that by following this road, we'll get to the E8. See, that's probably, we are probably right now on the 14. So, 
e8. Ooh, okay, 14's here. And we have Terengano. Oh, that's also, okay, here's Terengano. So, Could we hit, could we be around here? To our, what is this? To our west, there is Perasing Jaya. Will be hard to find. I'm not sure. Well, for now, I'm just going to take that and here's a Jaya, but that's not the right Jaya. I'm just going to keep going just a little bit. Maybe we can find something else. Wait, so does that make sense from the direction that we chose? Eh, somewhat, maybe, yeah. Well, but there probably wasn't an institute. 94 kilometers, so it was just, well, that looks very far away now, here, on this underpass, okay, and Perasing Jaya, that's what it said, right, I think, okay, again, not too bad, but not the perfect score, now, is this Brazil? Or is it some other South American country? It could be like, you know, I study Spanish and that sounds a bit unnatural, but maybe they say it like that in some South American country. See, like we have Ecuador here. So for now, I'll just click somewhere in Ecuador. But I'm not too convinced yet. Okay, but actually, I, th I think in Portuguese, they don't say parava. They say like... Stasau or something like that. So it might sound a bit awkward, like how it's parada de bus and not like parada de autobus or something like that. But okay, I'd say we, we are in Ecuador probably. But on the bus it also said Sucre. There a place called Sucre. In Ecuador, I mean, there's one in Bolivia, right? But in Ecuador, not so sure. Mm, I keep going for a bit. I see a green sign up ahead. Come on, tell me something useful. Actually, does that small? That also tells us things. Yeah, okay, so we are on the E48. Um, which I don't see right now. 40 seconds left. Guaya, Guayaquil. Oh. So I guess that's the E48, even though, the, ah, here's Guayaquil. And it's to our south-ish. Now, how close are we? Uh, La Saiba. Mm. A bit further north. 
There are all these places, La Saiba and... I don't see those things that it said, but okay. They're probably tiny. La Guayaquil, ah, okay. So it's different from Guayaquil. <laughs> Interesting. Again, a very good score, but not the perfect score. Oh, we're in Turkey, man. We are so much in Turkey. Gandamish. Okay, so let's not go through the village. Let's go this way and hope we find the sign of the next city. Gandamish. Let's keep that in mind. Gandamish. Okay, I see no signs up ahead. But there are some houses, so maybe some sort of village starts here or around here. Petrol Offici. These are tiny, they're not gonna help me at all. Kandamish, right? Was the other. Pretty sure. Okay, those don't help. Yuri Kler. Yuri Kler and Kandamish. Yuri Kler, Kandamish. Okay, let's just get in there and see if we can... Maybe they aren't that small, I don't know. Yökünder, Yuri Kler, Kandamish. Let's... I'm gonna lean in a bit and focus, maybe I see them. So I'm thinking like, I thought that's it, but it's not it. I was thinking towards here, like north, east-ish, but I don't really know. Kadamish Yurukler. They're probably tiny. I'm not gonna find them. Okay, I'll just click around here. And hope that's good enough. What do we have here? Maybe something a bit bigger that we've actually heard of. Oh, come on, where is it? Tekirdar in 30 kilometers. I'll be impossible to find. Wow, really? This close to Istanbul? I'm okay. No comment. That's interesting. Kandamish and what is your declare? Here it's tiny, okay. So that would have been, here is Tekirdar. Interesting. Not a bad score, but could have been much better. Are we in Scandinavia? No. We're in, is Vole in Belgium or in the Netherlands? I think it's in the Netherlands, right? Let's keep this also here. Zvole, pretty sure. Yeah, okay, here's Zvole. So we need the junction of of the N three seven five and the A thirty two. A thirty two is here. Now we need the N three seven five here. So we are heading 
yeah, we're around here. Meppel Githorn. Meppel and well Githorn will also be somewhere here, I suppose. Doesn't matter too much. Okay. So uh, there's also the sort of bridge shenanigans going on. It's not here. Is it? No. Also not here. We're in f before Mapel. Right? Ah. Okay, there is this roundabout. Huh. Maple Nord. And, okay, so for the normal Maple, we have to go south. And for Maple North, okay, then it actually could be here. Right? Yeah, that's actually it, I would say. Uh, although that does make... Mm, the direction isn't too correct, though. The direction's pretty wrong here. Hmm. But that's pretty much what makes sense to me. Or could we be... We were here, just on the other side? Really? Did we approach from there? Yeah, actually, now, now that I think of it, yeah, that does make sense. Okay, we missed out on one point. <laughs> that's a bit sad. Okay, so... 22,000, that's respectable. Turkey could have, if Turkey was a bit better man, it could have been 23, 24,000. I'm, I'm happy. Let's see if we are in the top 100. Oh, we just missed out. It's fine. The rounds weren't that difficult, but yeah. Okay, so yeah. Not bad. If you play today's daily challenge, uh, leave a comment below telling me your score. And if you like today's video, give it a like. If you like what you see on this channel in general, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.